Good morning and welcome to Bloomfield Methodist Church Online. You're very welcome and it's lovely to have you with us this morning, whether you're watching from nearby or you're watching from further afield. Uh, we hope that God blesses you through our service this morning. Um, and thank you as always to everyone who has taken part and allowed us to be able to share together for this short time. Um, it's wonderful that we can do that uh, and we really appreciate all the effort everyone puts in to allow that to happen. Um, just a couple of announcements to highlight this week. Tomorrow evening, that's Monday night, E3 are holding another prayer time for schools over Zoom. And if you would like more information about that, you can email Sarah Coughlin and that's Sarah at sheni.co.uk or indeed you can ask Jennifer for the Zoom link and she'll be able to help you out. And we do continue to remember the very important work that A3 and Scripture Union do for our schools, especially at this challenging time. Um, I mentioned last week and just a wee reminder in case you maybe didn't see it, uh, the East Belfast ministers have been meeting to arrange a Bible study and that Bible study is held via Zoom every Wednesday for five sessions. Um, it's at half seven on a Wednesday night and it started last week and will run until Wednesday the 24th of March. I do have the Zoom ID. If you need it, please contact myself or Nigel and we'll be able to fill you in on that. Um, this week, the... Um, characters it's concentrating on different characters of the cross and last week was Mary Magdalene this week it's going to be Judas and um, so if you're interested in joining that then please do so as we think of the run-up to Easter. Now um, I have an announcement from Storehouse as you know we support Storehouse very much with our trolley usually in church every week and it's lovely to hear that they can reach out to us and we can then reach out to you via technology um, so I'll just read you their wee request for the, the current time. Do you have a laptop at home you're no longer using that you would like to donate to Storehouse? Um, their aim is to take an old device, install a new operating system on it, erasing all the content beforehand and either donating it to an individual or a family in need or indeed they set it up in their city centre premises for Storehouse members to access and use. At the moment, they're asking for laptops that are less than eight years old, are in full working order and have a webcam. Your laptop may be running slow, but that's OK. They think that the new operating system will help that. So if you do have a laptop that you would like to donate, if you could please contact Patricia. Again, if you're not sure how to get in contact with Patricia, then text myself or contact the Facebook page and we'll put you in the right direction. Um, and that's, it's lovely, you know, that, that we could do that if we do have an older laptop sitting at home, maybe gathering dust. Um, please bear that in mind. Now, some celebrations for the week ahead. We love to share in everyone's birthday. Um, and tomorrow, Monday, it's Brian Bowles birthday. Happy birthday, Brian. It's the lovely Jean Cook's birthday next Wednesday. Happy birthday, Jean. I hope you get to have a slice of cake and spend a little bit of time with some family. And also on Wednesday, it's the lovely Alistair's birthday. So Alistair will be thinking about you and we're sending you birthday wishes and hope you all get to celebrate in some way and have a lovely day in these very strange times. Um, it's been fantastic that today the sun is out. We're seeing a wee bit more of springtime. Um, there's hope, we hope, on the horizon and that it won't be too long until we can see each other in person again. But in the meantime, please stay safe, look after yourselves and I hope God blesses you in the week ahead. Bye bye.